should you invest in this company? In order to properly analyze its merits, we have to compare its business with its main competitor, along with the S&P 500, which is a better investment. Let's look at growth. Which stock has the highest projected earnings growth for the next five years? On the right, you see a point system in order to easily reference how each has done. For the S&P 500, I'm taking the average of its 10 largest components. We treat any not applicable numbers as the worst possible outcome. Let's look at P-E ratio. Which stock has the least amount of speculation with a lower P-E ratio? Speculation naturally overvalues a company as it's an easy way to measure hype with a high price to earnings. The further to the left you see the graph, the less hyped the stock. Let's then look at the 200-day simple moving average. Which stock is trading lower than its SMA 200 the most? More points are given to the lower SMA 200 stock. Next, let's look at returns. Which stock is using its combined assets, cash, and investments most efficiently? More points are awarded to the more efficient stock. Let's look at dividends. Which stock pays you the most to hold their shares? It's important to note that a real long-term investment means getting paid to own instead of just selling the stock for a profit. Sixth, we look at the short float. Which stock are investors and traders most bearish in? We prefer a stock that's least shorted. The most points are given to the least shorted stock. For the profit margins, what you see here is the stock that generates the most profits from its business. We want to figure out which stock is in the best type of business that generates a lot of cash and can keep a lot of that cash after all expenses have been paid. Then, let's look at analyst recommendations. Which stock do Wall Street analysts favor the most? More points are awarded to the lower recommendation number. So after going through all our business metrics, what you see here is the total score for all three stocks. The higher the score, the better the business of the three. If the company has a higher point total than the S&P 500, it's a market beat, and that's the preferred outcome. Before we get to our fair price, join my Patreon. You'll get access to every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Here's the current stock price, along with the company's fair price. So we can figure things out quickly. The big percentage number on the screen is basically how undervalued or overvalued the stock is relative to its fair price. The more positive the percentage, the more undervalued the stock is right now. And then there's performance. Sometimes you just want to know if the stock has performed well enough versus its industry and the S&P 500 during multiple periods. In some cases, you just want to know if your investment can beat the market. And that's another way to analyze a company. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Invest wisely. And as always, take care of your money.